This will cover Algebra Nation Workbook, page 127. Here we're going to take factory and rational expressions and put them together. We're going to simplify when we have an expression on the numerator and the denominator, hence called a rational expression, and we need to factor. So sometimes we see a problem like this, and we need to factor like that. Just to walk you guys through, what did we do first here from this step to this step? We did um, GCF, greatest common factor. Check it out. We factor out a 4. And then, how do I get from this step to this step? I asked myself, what multiplies to negative 28 and adds to 3? And I eventually got a 7 and a negative 4. Just remind you guys how to factor this. But here is the actual. You need to notice that the denominator matches one of the factors in the the numerator, the a minus 4 and the a minus 4. So what actually happens overall is, after you factor a little bit off to the side, like notice, that was factoring basically without the denominator. You put it back in, and the a minus 4 is simplified, and you get your final answer, which, by the way, is uh, right there. So that's what you have to notice. That's my little tip for you guys. When you see you have to factor with a rational expression, meaning a ratio, a numerator and denominator, you'll notice one of the factors is on the bottom. So let's actually work that all out. Here we go. Given the following, you know an e minus a is going to be on the top, but we have to discover it. We have to get it. So in order to get it, ready? What do you always do first? GCF. I'm going to write out to the side 2e cubed minus 4e squared minus 96e. And I say I have a 2e in common, so I'm going to factor out a 2e, GCF. 2, 4, 96, all divisible by 2. All these have the lowest power, e to the first. 2 I divided out, e cubed. Remember, you subtract 1 from the exponent, e squared. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Take 1 out. Negative 96 divided by 2. Whew! 96, make it a negative. Divided by 2 is negative 48. And the e was taken out. Then you ask yourself, what multiplies to negative 48 and adds to negative 2? Because I have a trinomial. You have to write all your factors of 48 off to the side if you need to. 1 and 48, 2 and 24. Let's see. 48 divided by 3, 3 and 16. 48 divided by 4, 4 and 12. 5 doesn't go into it. 6 times 8 is 48. And ironically, 6 times 8 is the answer. It's a negative 48, though, so you've got to be careful. It multiplies to negative 48 and adds to negative 2. So that means 1 is positive and 1 is negative. And the last number is negative. 1 is positive and 1 is negative. So that will be negative 8 and positive 2, because if it's a negative, I want the bigger number to be negative. But not only that, I know it's got to be e minus 8. You know it's got to be e minus 8, because it's got to reduce with the term on the bottom. So now that I've done all that side work off to the side, I would rewrite the numerator as 2e, e minus 8, e plus 6. e minus 8 simplify. You're left with 2e times e plus 6. And if you didn't see that as the answer, you would distribute all over again. 2e times e is 2e squared, and 2e times 6 is 12e. So at least you know one of the factors which is why I want you guys to try this, because you know the goal. You know you're going to reduce it. You just have to get to it. Remember, GCF and rules of, of course, factoring. Try these two out, okay? Actually, try this one out. We'll pause to try this one. Then we'll pause again to try this one. So pause and just try this one out right now. Let's start by writing out down the numerator. 5b squared minus 50b plus 45. GCF, they're all divisible by 5. 5 gets factored out. 50 divided by 5 is 10b. 45 divided by 5 is 9. What multiplies to 9 and adds to negative 10? So what multiplies to 9? Well, 1 and 9 would do it, except if it's positive for the multiplication, got to be plus plus or minus minus. Which one does it have to be? It has to be minus minus. 
But we knew it had to be a minus 1. Aha. Uh -huh. 5. B minus 1. B minus 9. Rewrite it all now. 5. B minus 1. B minus 9. The B minus 1's simplified. If you don't see an answer of 5 times B minus 9, that means they'll distribute 5 times B and 5 times negative 9. I want you to try one more, though. Pause the video. Try this next one out, okay? So ready? Pause now. We know one of the factors is e minus 7, but first we're going to write down the trinomial up top, and the first thing you're going to do is GCF. See what's in common? Factor it out. They're all divisible by 5. 4, 3, 2. We take out the smaller of the powers for GCF. 5 is factored out. E to the 4th. Take 2 away because exponents you subtract. You're left with E squared. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Already got that negative. E cubed. Took 2 away. I've got an E left. 70 divided by 5. Oof. 70 divided by 5. 14, but really it's negative 14 e squared is factored out. What multiplies negative 14 and adds negative 5? Factors of 14 would be 1 and 14, 2 and 7, and I think that might work. If it's negative, that means one's got to be a positive, one's got to be a negative. Since I have a negative 5, the bigger number has got to be negative. So e plus 2, e minus 7, but we already knew it had to be e minus 7. Kind of nice, right? So we rewrite the numerator as 5e squared, e plus 2, e minus 7. The e minus 7s simplify. If you don't see 5e squared times e plus 2, then you need to distribute. 5e squared times e is 5e cubed. 5e squared times 2 is 10e squared. So we're just factoring, and then we're simplifying. It's great. We're factoring, and then we're simplifying overall. So I think it's about that time.